Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for July 7th, 2016. And for your Thursday, we're going to have uh, the continuation of this heat wave that we've uh, started getting yesterday with the high heat and humidity. And uh, we are going to have an intro introduction of some isolated storms here later in the day, and that will be mainly in the afternoon hours. This is uh, a, a weak mid-level impulse that's going to be moving through that could have uh, just spark enough lift to give a few thunderstorms just because we have such hot temperatures. So if it does occur... Uh, mainly across our eastern sections here and if that does occur that will be a welcome relief for this heat so we're going to keep temperatures uh, generally the same as they were yesterday for most areas uh, same thing with the humidity values some of those high dew points and temperatures those storms could spark with that with that added lift in the atmosphere and uh, that's going to continue into the early evening hours so it's basically anywhere from about two o'clock onward You'd have to watch for some thunderstorms to develop. Uh, going into Friday, we have a, a more organized system. This is going to be ahead of a cold front. Now, the system has uh, slowed down a little bit from previous projections, so I don't expect uh, most areas to get into the thunderstorm activity. The concentration of storms will be out here in western Pennsylvania, all the way up to about uh, maybe our western counties here. We'll have to watch out for some scattered showers and thunderstorms to develop mainly later in the day. You can see further east, not much going on here, and that uh, will allow temperatures to really soar here on Friday. And I think temperatures will peak in this heat wave on Friday as a result. A uh, combination of south or south southwesterly winds out ahead of this uh, front picking up a little bit. Uh, you already have the soupy air mass in place. It's not going to take much to get temperatures in the mid to even upper 90s in some locations, especially down here by Philadelphia, where the excessive heat warnings will continue. Now, this mass is not just going to disappear. It is going to uh, move through overnight. So we go to the next frame here. We can see showers and thunderstorms coming in just probably uh, after dark in many places further east. So I don't expect any severe weather out of this. Uh, but the actual cold front at this point, this is now looking at Saturday, 7 a.m. The cold front is still back here. So this is going to come through. Uh, some showers maybe early on or early thunderstorm, and that pulls out. This uh, cold front will be pulled eastward as this low pressure that's attached to, which is sitting up here, uh, also pulls eastward. So here's a low pressure. There's the cold front. Uh, because this is coming in a little bit later, you're still going to have winds out of the southwest uh, early on. You're going to have uh, temperatures going to get up close to 90 not quite as much not, not quite as hot as they were on uh, on Friday but uh, will still be in many locations upper 80s to near 90 before this front comes through the front should come through as a dry front or mainly dry front we could have a uh, again you could have a, a sparked thunderstorm here closer to where the best forcing would be closer to the area low pressure up in the northeastern part of our coverage area here but uh, elsewhere we should just be a, should be a mainly dry front here on Saturday so I can't rule out a, an isolated shower or thunderstorm on Saturday with the actual cold front but once this moves through it's going you're actually going to feel the effects of this uh, later in the afternoon on on Saturday let me get into uh, temperatures first here's the what the temperatures are going to look like over the next two days this is actually a look at Thursday here with temperatures in the lower to middle 90s by the time we get to Friday you're going to be mid 90s here especially in the, these areas here that are not getting into any thunderstorm activity the areas further west out here that do get into the thunderstorm activity will have temperatures capped right up to the point of where western counties begin so I do think most areas get a very hot day here on Saturday and that continues uh, excuse me on Friday and then Saturday, I want to get into something here that's very important, is the high dew points are what has been really keeping the humidity so high. This is a look at early Saturday morning. The front has not come through yet. I want to show you what happens just six hours later, and you can see where the front is, and it's really lowering dew points behind it. This is now 2 p.m., and you can see where the line is right here of soupy air. This is all soupy air, and this is all lower humidity air back here. So uh, ahead of the front, you're still going to say a little soupy here until about early afternoon, mid-afternoon or so. The frontal boundary is right about here at this point at 2 p.m., and it moves eastward. You're going to have lowering dew points uh, once that front moves through. So the winds are going to shift, and you can see, except for New Jersey, most of Pennsylvania at some point will have lowering dew points throughout the day. So you will get some relief, maybe not from the air temperature, but you will get relief in the form of lower humidity, which will be uh, feel much more comfortable for outdoor activity. So Saturday is not a total waste. If you don't like the heat and humidity and you thought you are going to have to be cooped up inside all day, Saturday might not be as bad in the afternoon as originally thought because of this cold front moving eastward. Once we get to uh, once once we get to Sunday, everywhere is going to be in comfortable dew points. Look at this in the 50s, which is going to be much much uh, a much much different 
look to it here on Sunday than it w- was over the last couple of days or expected to be over the next couple of days. With temp with dew points in the 50s, that's going to be a nice, refreshing uh, northwesterly breeze, and it's just going to feel great. Temperatures are going to go back down in the 80s. Still not below normal. We're going to get to near to slightly above normal temperatures for Sunday, Monday time frame, still with lower humidity. Uh, but it's definitely going to feel a lot better getting this humidity out of here. So let's take it through after this point as far as precipitation is concerned. Not much. Once this front goes through, uh, that's pretty much it. Here's Sunday, Monday. Uh, high pressure is in control. That high pressure is going to move off the eastern seaboard by the time we get to Tuesday. And that means your winds are going to start coming in from the west-southwest again. We're going to increase the humidity. Nothing totally dramatic, but we are going to increase the humidity as we get into Tuesday. I think by the time you get to Wednesday next week, you have not hit 90 by uh, Tuesday. You probably will on Wednesday and beyond because this is going to come back with uh, you know, with, with the heat and humidity uh, returning. And uh, that's going to occur somewhere around midweek next week. So this is a very short-lived, uh, refreshing break, if you will, but I do think this is going to turn around again once we get to the middle of next week and beyond straight through next weekend. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martrich, and that is your outlook for July 7th, 2016. Have a great Thursday.